What's up everyone? Thanks for joining us again on the channel for a new game. We're going to go ahead and play a game called No Man's Sky. Now the game itself isn't new. It's actually been out almost two years. But today, they released a massive update called No Man's Sky Next. <clears throat> now, if you bought this game two years ago like I did, and a couple other people I know, there was a bit of a disappointment around the game because it advertised that you'd be able to do a bunch of different things and interact possibly with other people I don't know if it actually came out and said directly interacting with other people but it's made it seem like it was going to be kind of multiplayer and that you'd have uh, a little multiplayer experience but that's what this is supposed to be now so the No Man's Sky Next is supposed to have added that aspect in along with a bunch of other things um, they've added some other things throughout the years, but we should be able to do some base building, some planet exploring, resource farming, and again, play with other people as well. So, we literally played, I think, nine hours on this game when it first came out, and then we just weren't that impressed with it. So it's been sitting for two years, and now we're going to get back into it. So, I got a couple buddies playing already. We're going to jump into that game. Now, I did do just enough. I'm not going to start from a brand new game. I'm not that far in. I did just enough on the last playthrough to where we were able to upgrade our tool and upgrade our spaceship a little bit. But, didn't do a whole lot else. So, since I haven't played it in a couple of years, we're actually going to be kind of learning on the fly and trying to get in a, a grasp of all the different controls and how the game actually plays. And even though we played this game a few years ago, we don't remember much about it at all. So this is kind of a new experience for us. Um, outside of the beginning, which I know at the beginning you have to actually find stuff to rebuild your ship or put your ship back, repair your ship to make it operational. And then you're able to take off and explore. We won't have to do that aspect. But we will have to learn all the controls again. So we're now in the same ecosystem as them. That should be them over there. Now if we look at our tools... On our ship, this is what we have. This is our new ship here, I believe, our upgraded ship. 16 slots, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I, um, I don't know if this is the original ship or not. <laughs> now that I'm looking back at it. We did have a bunch of stuff farmed up as far as materials. And, uh, yeah, I don't remember what the beginning ship was. Now... This is all new. I don't remember any of this stuff here. Technology. So this is all new. Installs technology and create a new tech to upgrade your equipment. Okay. Now we do have our eco suit. So this is kind of uh, what we've been farming when we last played. Um, but we don't know what all this stuff does anymore. Um, we also have our multi-tool and this has been upgraded I know this isn't the base tool this is an upgraded tool I believe which looks like we have some obsolete stuff in here that we need to uh, dismantle so we don't know what that was but we need to see about figuring this up as well, figuring this out as well. So let's go ahead and look at it. Install technology. What is that? Okay, so we got technology modules. But. Hmm. So I guess we could do that. I know this is all technology. Okay, there's mining, weapons. Uh, secondary options, terrain multiplier, 
So we, we would need uh, carbon nanotubes and dehydrogen jelly to get to that. We would need a superoxide crystal to do that. Interesting. Now, let's go back to this here again. Did it put? Okay, it did put some of these in here. I wonder... Okay, no, here we go. Here we do. We have, we have 5 of 5 here, 5 of 5 here, 3 of 5 here. So it's like 13 total units. We do actually have a little bit of uh, currency. So 883,119 units. We do not know how much that is anymore as far as value-wise, if that's any good or not. This stuff here, as you can see, stacks. So carbon, carbon uh, stacks to 250. That's to 250. That's to 5. That is... Why aren't these stacked together? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that there. We have 25 slots. So we might as well make sure that everything is relatively combined. Otherwise it's... There we go. Uh, okay, we can't. Let's do this. There we go. Uh, sodium, we have some copper. We have one of those there. Let's go ahead and move that there. So now we're still sitting with uh, nine empty slots here. Uh, this is our life support. So we need to charge equipment with oxygen, oxygen capsules, or our life support. And to do that, we got more technology up here. All right. Let's just do this here. I believe this is stuff I was intending to sell, and then with the new updates and all, it became obsolete, so now it's, I don't know. But that's a lot of money right there, 250,000 units each. And then I have this one that's 150. Okay. Yeah, you can move uh, inventory, so if we wanted to... Um, move some of this stuff here to our other inventory we would sit here and move a stack with our left click button here so oxygen that's what we need for life support okay so oxygen oxygen capsule life support um our thrusters control thrust with spacebar and a flat pack uses energy from the life support system to pressurize event burst of uh, gas what is going on oh, what the heck I'm looking for it. That's not cool. Let's go ahead and burst. <laughs> we got something coming at us. Nope, I don't want it to be offline. I need it online. Oh, there it is. Ah! We're gonna die! How do we, uh. Oh, there we go. Now we're cruising. Shift is the move. We're learning. Ah, oh, man, why can't I just lock on to these guys? It'd be a lot easier if we could. Oh, we are so far. All right, we're gonna have to maybe go to a planet. <laughs> Where's Boomin and them at? Ah, not cool. Um. How many ships they got attacking me? Oh, critical damage. Not good. Oh, uh, can we... We're just going straight for a space station. <laughs> Trying to get rid, of from, get rid of these guys. Eighteen seconds. I, I thought there was a way to like boost, boost. I could be wrong. Oh, my pulse engine's offline. That's why. I guess space bar would have been a uh, pulse engine, but we're not able to activate it at the moment. There we go. So we're at a space station now. I'm gonna tinker around with the controls a little bit because I do not remember how to play much at all, but. Um, I'm going to have to definitely tinker around with the uh, movement because that was definitely an issue trying to uh, find those guys and shoot them. 
So let me do around, do that a little bit, tinker around, and uh, get my bearings with controls. Because again, I haven't played this game in a couple of years, and then we'll be back. All right, so we've been doing a ton of things <clears throat> with the guys and uh, some stuff on our own now, but um, we did a ton of farming. I'm going to show you in a clip right here. We did a lot of cobalt farming. Um, Pouring some other resources as well. Been selling stuff, building up our units, and uh, we actually upgraded our ship. So I don't know if I can call my other ship or not. I actually have two ships now, um, just because I could. Let's see. Um, select other ship. Yes. Select. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Oh, I had it just now. <laughs> oh, it might not let me bring it in here. Anyway, that's our original ship. And it was only uh, 18, 16 slot. And it's actually the one that we got when we uh, pre ordered Norman Sky back in the day. We went ahead and bought this guy here um, just because. It is, if we bring up our stats, it's an 18 slot, so it's only a two slot upgrade of, over what that ship was. But um, our starting ship was a class C. This one's a class B, and it has a huge damage increase and shield increase over our other ship. So I want to say our other ship was only doing about 100 and something damage potential. This one's got 655.7, and uh, the shield's better too. So, we've been in a couple of dog fights with this guy already, and it works out really well. Uh, one little tip. Um, when you're, you're flying around, there's a couple different things. I think by default, it's tethered right here. No, tethered right here. Like that. So, when you move your cursor, in a way, there's like a tether, and it slowly moves behind. I'd have to show you when flying. But... Um, if you just switch it from tethered to locked, it seems to function a lot, a lot better for me, and, and I can show you that in a second. Since we have one tethered, we're going to fly back to the planet, and, um, you get to see what that looks like. Now, there is a way we can upgrade, I say upgrade, appearance, change our appearance. So, it's appearance modifier over here. Um, race-wise, I think... We didn't have a race. I think we we're just like regular. Um, we could adjust stuff. Hmm. Let's just go. You change all kinds of things on here. <laughs> Look at all these different options. I don't know if I like that. That's kind of cool. Um, this is all the presets. Let's see. Let's look at this one here. <clears throat> How these look. That one looks kind of cool. Um, I'm actually kind of kind of digging this one here. Alright, so let's look at the head. Primary color right now looks like it's this. What happens if we change it to something else? Oh, okay, that's what it looks like. That's what we're going to be changing, is that aspect of it. Hmm, I'm going to go with a deeper red. It's a head type 6 right now. Yes. Torso. We're on 2. Kind of like that with the, the leather. But let's see. Do we have any markings that we could do? No. It's just changing some of the colors. Hmm. So the primary color is. It says black. Let's. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I don't want to make them bright red. 
No. Mm, if we did that, it's going to mess up our color thing. I kind of like that right there. And so this would be, yeah. We'll leave that blank for sure. And this is, oh, on the sleeves. Okay. Um, we can pick up a strong contrasting color. Maybe a green. I think we'll do that. All right. Uh, let's see armor. Armor style. Can we zoom out a little bit? I know we can rotate, but no, no. Hmm. I don't know if I should do that one. Let's see. Go back out. No, I'm not digging that torso. Oh wait, wrong one. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. It's the armor. Should we go with that armor? Let's go out here. Uh, uh, definitely not that one. Let's go ahead and go back. I might do that one there. We could do that one, maybe. I think we'll go with that one. Alright. Armor, gloves. Let's see. Kind of like the copper. No, let's go with the copper. So, that would be, yes. And then we're going to go ahead and change. How's that? Oh, it's the fingertips and whatnot. Um... We're going to make it match. That way it matches. No legs. Okay, so legs. Two is the default. Which I kind of like because it matches the gloves that way. Although that's kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like. Alright, and what's this? Oh, that's the belt. Hmm. Let's do that. No, no, it's looking Christmassy. I don't want to do Christmas. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I could just do that like that, and then no, I don't want it to be. It just it flows too easily like that. Uh, hmm. I like the black part. Let's do like that so it matches our little. Insignia it looks like our boots kind of match too with the little green part right here uh, So boots uh, Let's go ahead. I actually like those boots I Like those actually Ooh. I don't know if I like the color but uh, That actually kind of matches the outfit all right, let's go back to boots and let's look at the colors. So if we change this, it, yeah, we definitely gotta change that to dark and change that like that. That works. Any markings? Oh, I guess you can change this. No oh, wait, that was that, and then this, or we could just do away with that and let's just leave it default. All right, I like that. Backpack. So, two, no, two, three, and four. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like this one or this one. Let's go with that one. And then, so the primary color is the, yeah, the most of that right there. Secondary color is, of course, going to be the stripes, it looks like. And what's this one here? Oh, that's that there. 
we could do that to tie it in yeah let's do that to tie it in so we have the green theme on that piece as well so head we have that we'll go like that I like it so that is our guy now um, how do we does it just save I think it will yes and of course to uh, to see all that let's see if we go here ah no 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 I thought that was I thought that's how you did it photo mode what's that like uh no Okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah. So now, now we're good. Thumbs up. Not a problem at all right here. So, that's our new guy. And, uh, let's go look at what I was talking about. We were selling stuff here, actually, in... We might just upgrade our... Let's upgrade our slots real quick. We should be able to do that over here. I've got enough units. I am a... Uh, nope. I can't upgrade anymore. Alright. I was able to add another slot by going in there. And now I have uh, 26 slots. Um, as you can see, I have 864,000 units. I did pick up a lot of quests. And... Went from that guy and was able to get some stuff. Actually, not that guy. It's on the other side. So I have a bunch of quests to do. I need to go back to the main planet because I bought some upgrades for our actual exosuit. And I need... I gotta get some more condensed carbon and I gotta get a salt refractor to install that. And chromatic metals. I can make that real quick. And then if you look at our starship, we're actually pretty maxed out on stuff here. Good bit of stuff. Now, I do have this that I want to make, which I need two more technology modules and an antimatter. I think I can make an antimatter right now. Let's see. Yes. So let me go get two more. I think it's on this side. The terminal. Two more of the technology, the modules that I need. Yes. And we should be able to make that real quick for our ship. Let's see, buy. Let's go ahead and buy two. Alright. So now, if we go back to here. Let's see. Oh, I need, I need one more. I thought I had one already. I got two here. Alright, I only got two. I thought I had one. Let's buy another one. Now nah, we should be able to do it. We go to here. Technology. And build. So now we will be able to... Well, the reason why I wanted that is it allow us to transfer stuff from our exosuit to the starship over longer distances. So we'll be able to uh, not have to be close, right at our ship in order to to do that. Um, hmm. This is all part of the ship here. And I put this came with it. But this, I, uh, actually, we can dismantle that, I think, and put it here. We just gotta go get one more technology module right here. I should have done that ahead of time. I'm still learning, but instead of taking up our actual space here, we can put it on this side. The technology spots and that allows us to uh, 
do some stuff there. So some of these things I can't move. Like this is all stuff that I have to have on these 18 slots. I could dismantle that, but when I bought this, um, the ship, it actually came with that already. So I didn't have to build it. And uh, I don't know. I don't think I even have that unlocked yet to where I could make it. So I'm not going to uh, dismantle that right now. But we do have another slot. Um, I was making some stuff because I want to making. I actually want to purchasing a multi tool, and I was going to start repairing some of this. So I was making things, and then realized that we uh, probably should have just waited on that. So unfortunately, I have microprocessors and some other things right now that I don't need but I'm not going to sell them I'm just going to hold on to them and then eventually I'll make the stuff that I need now I don't think there's anything else that I can do right now I have to go down to the planet and get some more condensed carbon and the salt refractor is actually on the planet as well there's a place that sells that and I can make the chromatic metal so now I have to go back to the planet and that's where we're going to head next just go right over here to our ship and take off so we'll see what it looks like when we are as you can see it has a tether so everything is kind of slow and not as responsive you have to kind of if you want it to react real quick you gotta have to do like this in order to get it to turn really fast and um it could be done in, 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 if you get used to it, but um, I've actually been doing that right there. And uh, now, as you see, wherever I move my mouse, that's where the ship goes. I don't have to wait. So I'm kind of liking that better. So this is the planet that we were going to... Yeah, this is the planet that we're going to because... Wait, do I have... Uh, I'm about to say... There we go. This is where we need to go in order to get the stuff that we need. There's an outpost here. Oh. Alright. Let's get into the atmosphere. And I believe this is it. I hope I didn't go to the wrong planet. I guess we're going to see here in a second. No, I think this is it because it has all the stuff that I was mining before, if I recall. Entering the atmosphere. There was a space station. A space station. There was a crashed. Um, oh, let's pull up. No, actually, this is the wrong planet. I think this is the wrong planet. Well, hmm. I think. Or I could be wrong. This could be the right planet. No, this is the right planet. I think this is it right here where I need to go. No, this isn't it. The place I was looking for had a pad that I could land on. But I'm going to go ahead and land here and we'll wrap up the episode because I need to do some stuff and get some more stuff get some more stuff upgraded so um hopefully you enjoyed the episode i'm probably going to start doing a few more episodes just because i'm starting to enjoy the game and i'm definitely having more fun this time around than i did the last time but if you did don't forget to smash the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already feel free to share the video as you see fit and as always we'll see you in the next episode peace